The dangers of cap leave. Now, I recently interacted with a member who mentioned that if the member had to retire, their lump sum that is payable for the cap leave is not taxed. And I want to clear that rumor out and give you guidance on how you could um, overcome some of the challenges as well. Let's take a look at this um, using an example that I've put together. And we can see here in my example, I'm saying that assume you have 100 days of cap leave. So that's 100 days of cap leave. And let's assume that each day is valued at a thousand rand, which means it's 100 days times a thousand. You've got a hundred thousand that comes to your total for cap leave. And let's also assume that your annual salary is 300,000. Now, from a tax perspective, what SARS is going to do is they are going to take these amounts and they are going to add them. So it's going to be a 300,000 plus 100,000. Now, I'm going to quickly hop over to a tax guide so you can see how this plays out and why I'm referring to the dangers uh, to capital being a danger. You can see this is the tax guide 2022. Please make sure you're using the latest tax guide when you're working through this. And here I'm working with the individual tax rates. And you can see on the first figure I gave you, which is a salary of 300,000, you're sitting at this tax rate, which is 26%. But the moment we add in cap leave of 100,000, your 300,000 becomes 400,000, which then jumps you up to this side. You're now moving up a tax bracket to 31%, which means you in essence are losing a chunk of your money that you would have received for, for your cap leave. You're losing that to tax. Now, why should SARS benefit on something that you've worked all your life for? And on the flip side, if you are resigning, then you can lose out on your entire cap leave benefit. And, and who is benefiting in that case? Now, if you want to know the secret behind how you can get cap leave to work in your favor, I share this inside the Retire vs. Design Secrets.